Hey guys, this is Steve from Valor Replicas. I wanted to shoot a video, um, and I'm hoping that this is the first of a series of videos where uh, you guys are able to follow along through a series of steps of a project with me. And I have a project that I think will be really perfect for this. That project is uh, something from a movie called The Da Vinci Code uh, with Tom Hanks. And it's not, it's not a great movie. It's a good movie. It's a fun movie. So without spoiling The Da Vinci Code, it is a uh, it is a thriller movie with uh, a couple of sort of code crackers that are trying to uh, chase down uh, answers to different uh, puzzles and riddles that will lead them to uh, the, the the Holy Grail, the Cup of Christ. And one of the main uh, riddles that they solve comes in the form of something called a cryptex. And this uh, this is uh, a cryptex uh, replica that I built of the the one that's seen in the film. And it's a it's a a cool little like lockbox. You have to sort of align these different letters to the right code, and then you open it up, and there's a clue inside. So this build is not about the cryptex because I already have one that I'm really satisfied with. There's some there's a problem with this. The cryptex in the movie, when they find it, uh, is actually found in a really beautiful ornate uh, rosewood box, and there's actually a, a riddle involved in the box itself. So this is a photo of that box. This is the actual box from the movie uh, because this went up for auction a number of years ago. But the cryptic sits inside of it and it's this beautiful veneered, um, ornate, five-sided wood box. And I've, I've wanted one of these to put my cryptics in. Uh, this project has sort of intimidated me. Like it's a, it's a complicated uh, woodworking project with lots of like hand cut veneer. Like each one of these pieces here, each one of those is a hand cut piece of wood. Um, yeah, it's this uh, crazy five, this is the end of it. It's this crazy five-sided box. There's, uh, you know, there's all these brass hinges that uh, like are not readily available that I'm going to have to make by hand. So it's, it's a heck of a project, but uh, I really think that this would be a fun project to kind of walk you guys through step by step. So my plan over the course of the next, I don't know how long, is do some work, pause, share with you guys on a video. For starters, what I've done is just gathered the materials for what I'm going to need. The box itself, when you look at this, um, it's a pretty simple uh, structure in the sense that it is a, a three millimeter uh, plywood, which again, I can I can go to my local woodworking shop and get some. So I have some panels. The box itself is built out of that. But then over the top of that plywood box is all this veneer work. And specifically, they, they note that it's a rosewood veneer. So um, I have done my research and gathered all the different species of, uh, of thin wood veneers that I'll need to do to sort of do all of these different colors. And one of the details that has kept me from doing this project for a long time is around the box, there's this sort of like banding, um, this, this very specific pattern of a veneer banding that runs around. And I have spent hours uh, on different sites trying to find a, a place where I could buy specifically this banding. I don't know if this is something that they custom made or if it's something that was available at one time, but I, I have been striking out for years until a couple of weeks ago when I found this uh, on the internet. So this is, it's a little on the small side uh, compared to it, but it is a, it is a, a dead ringer for the pattern that's on here. So I feel like I've got like the last step of what I need from a material standpoint to do this. So my first step over the course of the next uh, week or so, uh, when you'll see me next, my goal is to basically frame out the interior box itself. And what I mean by that is using this plywood to build uh, build the box itself. The veneer is something that I'll get applied to it afterwards. Um, I have some thoughts of how this will go. I'm probably gonna have to build the box as sort of a monolithic piece and then slice it in half after it's built so it's got two pieces and it'll open. I've never done anything with this before, so we'll have to see how it goes. So hopefully when we talk next, uh, I'll have at least some uh, form of that in front of me, and then we'll go from there. So stay tuned. Thanks a lot.